White Tags again. Uh, and today, and now we have with us Ramit Chauhan, Head of Operations and Technology at Mushrack. Mushrack's worked with Avaya to launch a an AI-enabled chat bot for its customers. Sandeep, can you tell us more about this capability? What led to the idea, and what kind of functions can this bot like carry out for bank and fund customers? For? So. Mushrek has been on an artificial intelligence journey for the past two years. And we have we started off with uh, developing solutions to do some operational efficiency work around back office processes. We introduced from text processing to image processing. And we have gained the confidence and understand the infrastructure for introducing artificial intelligence capabilities in the bank. We have built the technology talent. We have built the big data advanced analytics infrastructure. And we now have a set of data scientists who are continuously programming and refining these artificial intelligence uh, robots. What we are doing here with Avaya is we have, for the first time, introducing very sophisticated chatbot capabilities, which is built on the concepts of conversational AI. And in, in this concept, the chat conversations that customers are having with us are broken into several contexts. It is the context of the request. There is the context of the sentiment. There is the context of the customer's situation. And the chats that we have now developed also has a machine learning aspect to it. So every conversation that a customer is having with us, we are able to understand much more intelligently respond to that, but also after these conversations are over, the learning algorithms kick in and we begin, we are very rapidly able to analyze that experience, the nature of repeat queries and continue to optimize our services. So if we are seeing a particular deterioration in our service in some aspect, the ability to get that analytics is very rapid. We have a real time ability to see that which we did not have in the conventional customer service. The lead time from customers experiencing a poor service to our response was much longer. Here, it is real time. In a matter of minutes, we are able to retrain the bot, we are able to retrain our agents, retrain our relationship teams to respond to a market situation. How would you see this capability differs, the, differs from what you know what there is now in the market because we do know that they, they um, other uh, banks or services basically does use yeah. chatbots as well. Right. And I understand that this completes uh, transactions. So right. Would like to... Yes. Yeah, so, like you like you rightly said, chatbots have been around for a while. Yeah. What they were they were very instructional. You could give a request to perform a certain transaction like a duplicate statement, stop a check, transfer funds. But customer engagement goes beyond transaction. They, they have problems, they have requests that once they get into that space, they expect the bank to be able to analyze and understand the sentiment. So if the customer is saying that my credit card is not working, is one part, but if he says my credit card is not working and I'm at the airport, the context of the conversation now changes completely. The context of where the customer is and the, the new tools that we are using are allowing us to also establish not just the request, but the context in which it is being said and being able to respond to it. In keeping, there could be a time when the chat needs to end and a and a human agent needs to be brought in and we feel we feel that that is the sophistication that is coming the learning the ability to hyper compute 
during the conversation the shifting position also the need to identify fraud there are fraud patterns so during the chat conversation you may pick up a fraudster and these technologies are so fast if you don't respond at speed you could end up hurting the customer and and the bank so that is where we are really seeing the evolution away from what has been the conventional chat mode and bringing in this real sophistication and and this is an intelligent chat as against a just a transactional chat yes. um what made you decide to work with abaya on this and kubit and uh, what sort of challenges did you have to face while you know going through the whole process of uh, developing the yes technology? so abaya you know is a world leader in delivering voice based solutions and has been in the business of customer service of providing technologies for customer service for for over 20 years we've been a partner with them for 10 years cupid is has been born out of the avaya's research labs so the the founders of cupid are ex avaya engineers and scientists who have now designed what the new age artificial intelligence capabilities can be built so they come with a very strong track record of understanding what customers want what banks want and being able to bridge and bring efficiency and great customer experiences for for both the parties okay so mushrix quite well known in the market as one of the leading uh, tech you know uh, enabled financial institutions especially for the retail uh, retail sector so how do you as head of operations and technology obviously envision the future of banking you know so the future is digital yeah. and and the banks need to go what we call as digital to the core up until now the digital technologies have been superficial they have been only on the outside where the client interactions have are taking place where you can originate a fund transfer originate an account but as technology is maturing we are seeing the shift from digital outside to digital inside and driving straight through processing is a very large part of what will happen in the banks which has happened in other digital economies other digital businesses we are going to see a lot more use of straight through processing which means the speed at which things get done secondly banking is also reshaping itself to become a very relevant player in an ecosystem you are no longer a stand alone bank in a digital economy ecosystems have evolved and in that ecosystem you could be there could be a housing ecosystem of people who are selling on you know properties renting properties insurance brokers etc likewise there is a healthcare ecosystem there could be a wealth management ecosystem there is a tourism ecosystem there is a you know shopping uh, retail uh, ecosystems so there are multiple ecosystem then banks of the future will have to to become much more what is called as open banking so the yeah so the 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 technical uh, expression of that is open banking and banks globally are opening up themselves through what is called as APIs and the API capabilities allow for an open banking experience that will allow banks to uh, participate much more meaningfully in in an ecosystem of uh, consumers and corporate services okay is there anything else you want to share with us today Bashrek is a uh, clearly a leader and is driving its leadership on the strength of its management support but also in 
partnership with the big tech companies and the fintech company so we are uh, very meaningfully creating and partnering with several uh, large organizations the likes of avaya to to build solutions uh, for the future of banking thank you so much for your time today thank you, thank you. good day